While Texas may have not won their home opening game, Texans did, however, win the COVID game. While the hysterics jeered, saying the game would cause a spike in cases, destroy all the hard work done so far, and even become the cause of a super spreader event, the numbers will just go through the roof. With the roof open that day, there was a better chance of a fly ball going higher. The evidence, however, blows their masquerade ball to bits. While the mainstream media had people stirring over whether the governor should have thrown out the first pitch, the real story is here, because here you can see the chart for Texas. Now I've drawn a red line at game day. If the theory is correct, you would see the inevitable spike two weeks later. This chart shows five weeks after game day. You can see it is essentially flat and actually falls off at the end. Now I want you to remember that we were told at the beginning, just two weeks to flatten the curve. Just two weeks. Look at the chart. Everything to the left of that red line was the longest two weeks ever. And what a great job they did to flatten it right out right? Yeah. Anyway, I think it is important for the rest of the West to learn from Texas. Opening up is okay. It really is. And it is good. And we should do it. Why must Western countries carry on with the masquerade ball? It is ridiculous already. Yes, I'm looking at you, Canada. Still ticketing people, still arresting people, still restricting people, still seizing property, still keeping people in the bondage of the mask. Go to freedom rallies, lose your job. Get over it already. Let the pathogen run its course and get on with life. The more you hinder it and try to block it, the more it will adapt and get worse. Perhaps you don't want it to ever end. There's a level of, of uh, admiration I actually have for China. Um, because their you know, basic dictatorship is allowing them the uh, to actually turn their economy around on a dime. You suck! Let it go already. The people have suffered enough.